In this video, we are going to look at redundancy. There are different types of redundancy available on our processors. Depending on which one you are using, some or all of them will be available. Let's start with closed loop redundancy. This is where the capacity of your processor is halved as you are coming out of port one on a processor with one gigabyte ports or out of a 10 gigabyte trunk to an XD like on the SX40. This goes to your panels and then when you have reached the last panel in your string this either returns to port 2 or the corresponding port on your second XD and then to trunk B. The same applies to port 3 returning to port 4 or trunk C returning to trunk D on the SX40. This creates a closed loop where the processors can get a signal to every panel in your string using the two ports. So if there was an interruption in the signal getting to the panel, for example a cable being knocked out, the processor detects this and the signal is then sent in the other direction using the second port in the loop. When a closed loop fails over to the second port, the error is almost unnoticeable to the human eye and your LED wall will continue to operate as normal. To enable this feature, you need to select the network button in your pipeline and then on the right hand side, select redundancy options you want to use and confirm it. If you have created a closed loop with your cables, but when you go to add your panels, the number on your strings keeps increasing, it's a clear indication that closed loop has not been enabled. You can see in this diagram. Finally, you can view how your panels and processors are connected by viewing this in the topology on your processor. Here you can verify how everything is configured. The other redundancy option which is available on the SX40 is processor redundancy, which adds a second processor to your setup. Both maintain a heartbeat between the processors and should there be an issue detected with, for example, a loss of power, signal, or if you need to manually switch to the second processor, your panels are associated automatically. You will experience a short delay in your output while this occurs. Processor redundancy can be accessed by pressing the failover button on the right hand side of your pipeline on the SX40. Here you can set the role of the processor and what will cause it to switch to the second processor. It's important to ensure your processors are receiving the same video signal and both have the same show file loaded. However, it's simply a case of saving it onto a USB stick on your primary processor and loading it onto your second processor. Closed loop redundancy also works in this configuration However, the cabling is slightly different, as you can see in the picture. Trunk A links to your first XD, which then links to your panels. This then connects to trunk A on your second processor. The same goes for trunks B, C and D. As you can see, Brompton Processing provides different options for redundancy, so you can choose the one that's most suitable for your application. Using redundancy is a great way to ensure maximum uptime on mission-critical applications. See you in the next tutorial.